Okay, let's try to build an array of objects punching holes in another object. See if we can make that work. Um, if I do a Shift A right now in Blender and I go to Image, I only have two options here. I can either uh, create an uh, object, an image object as a reference, or I can create like an image object as a background. But I want to import an image directly on a plane. So what I'll do, I'll go to Edit, all the way down to Preferences. In the search bar here, I'll type in images. I tick that box that says import, export images, import images as planes. That's the one I want. So you can close that window again. Make sure you tick it, close it. If you now do a shift A, you can see there's a third option. It says image, image as planes. So that allows you to like select an image. And if you select the image, it will immediately project the image on a plane. Now the cube is in the way, so I'll select the cube and hit the delete key. Uh, I can't see the image right now. Why not? Because I'm in solid mode and you want to be at least in material mode. So let's go to material mode so you can actually see the picture. Okay, nicely put on a plane that fits the image as well. Now I just want to put the image down on the down on the on the on this plane, on the XY plane. So what I'll do um, first, this is the X. So first I will rotate the picture. So select the picture, rotate Z90. That's one. And then I want to rotate, uh, put it flat on the, on, the, on, the, on the ground plane. So rotate X 90. No, the other way around. Rotate X 90 minus. That's better. Okay. So you can see like you've got your picture there. Now the other thing you want, 7 into top view. Uh, I want to put my cursor somewhere here. Shift right click. Put your cursor there. Let's create like a, let's create a cylinder there. Let's create a cylinder. So Shift A. Mesh cylinder. Well, that's a big cylinder. Uh, let's scale it down with the S key. So S and drag your mouse. Get smaller, roughly the same size as the banjo or ukulele. Ukulele. There you go. G to move it around if you want to. There you go. Looks okay. Now it's currently in solid mode. Uh, I want to see the banjo as well. So what I'll do with the object selected, I go to Object Properties, then Viewport Display. And I display the object not in textured mode, but in wire mode. So I can see the background as well. You see it's like a little bit too small. So I'll scale it up a little bit. And then with G I move it. So yeah, it's not too bad I think. Okay, that's one part. Now the next part is, uh, let's also create an empty. And I want, I want to put the empty exactly in the center of this, uh, of this, Cylinder. I was like, what is it called again? It's called a cylinder, Marco. So you select a cylinder, you do a Shift S, and you say cursor to select it. Now the cursor sits big bang in the middle. That's where I want it. Let's also add an empty here. So Shift A, let's add an empty with plain axes. There you go, that's my empty. Like the big orange uh, orange axes here. That's the empty. And I use the, we'll, use the X, we'll use the empty to rotate objects around it. Okay, we're going to use it. Um, I want to create another cylinder, a big bang in the middle here. So Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder. That's really big. Let's do a scale 0 0.01. Yes, yeah, that's, that's okay, I guess. Size-wise, that's pretty cool. Let's do a Control A and apply the scale of the small cylinder so we don't end up with issues afterwards. That's in place. Let's also apply an array to it. So I, I'm going to click on this little uh, symbol here, the wrench, add modifier, array. How many holes do I need? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, times 4 equals roughly 32, I think. So 32. And we're not going to use relative offset, but we're going to use an object offset. And the object will be the empty. So you select the empty there. Yeah, so untick relative offset, tick object offset, and select your empty you're going to rotate around. That is all in place. Then the next thing I want to do, I want to make sure that this small object really penetrates the large object. So I need to do two things, make a large object, a lot, make the large cylinder a lot thinner. So I'm going to select a large cylinder and do a scale on the Z, make it really thin, like the size of the back plate of the banjo. Come on, I said thin. That's probably thin enough. There you go. And now the, the, the small cylinder is actually like sticking through on both sides. That's what I want. That's pretty cool. 
So 7 to go back into the top view. Now with this cylinder still selected, I'll go into edit mode with tab and I'll move it into position with GY. I'll move it into position, so roughly somewhere there. There you go. Yeah. Tab to go back into object mode. Now select the empty and do a rotate around the axis that's pointing towards you. That's the Z axis. So rotate Z and then start to move your mouse. You see like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's almost spot on. So I'm going to click there. I think that looks pretty cool to me. So uh, I also want to see the, the large cylinder again. So I select a large cylinder, go back into object properties and let's make sure we display the thing again in textured mode. So that looks okay. So you have this. Yeah. Now make sure that the large cylinder is still selected because we're now going to apply a boolean to it, a boolean operator. So again, uh, back to the wrench, add modifier, let's apply a boolean. We're going to subtract the small uh, cylinders from it, so we're going to use a difference boolean. And the object we're subtracting is the small cylinder. Bang! There you go! Oh, oh this doesn't look okay. No, it doesn't look okay until you select the small cylinder and you do a H for height. Now it looks okay. We've got all those. <laughs> Done deal. How cool is that? Yeah? That is pretty awesome. And you can still use like the counter if you want to. And you can still use the counter to reduce the number of holes and play and play a little bit more with it. But that's how you can use like an array of objects to punch holes, for example, in another object to make this a ukulele. Okay, have fun with it. Bye bye.